Gabrieli, how did you start adventure with pigeon? I start when I was around 12 years old, and uh, we have one of the biggest pigeon families in Belgium. Uh, my grandfather, great grandfather, uncles. Uh, then we, we had in the same family the Huben family. She, they were related to my grandmother. You had the brother-in-law, uh, Schroyens was his name, Hubert. Uh, you had Marion Royberg's, one of uh, the basic birds at Dirk van Dijk was also from Marion Royberg's. They were all family. We were big, big one big family, uh, flying pigeons. There were so many people in one family who, who flew pigeons, so I had to be a pigeon for a guy, so that's the reason I think I had to start with it. How many birds you had, how many birds you raised and how many birds you have for breeding loft? For the moment I have uh, 28 pairs, so 18 pairs of uh, new breeders. Those are breeders uh, that we get testing the first year. Those are uh, all related to my best birds. And then we try those and they get two years, that's all they get. And then uh, we will see if they are good enough or not. Or they have to go if they are not good enough or they can stay if they are good enough for breeding uh, good racing pigeons. Then we have ten other pairs, but those are not fixed pairs. Those are ten important breeding cocks and I breed a lot with them with different hands so we have four teams of uh, bumpers like we say foster parents four teams of ten pairs so the same number as my breeding boxes every time my cocks in the breeding boxes have hands and they get eggs the eggs go to one team of the foster parents uh, every time I change so the ten cocks in the breeding boxes they don't get any young bird Maybe the last round, <coughs> the last round in, in the summer, but in from December till August only eggs, and they have to breed every two, three weeks. They get another hen, and I change. So you never give a, you never leave young pigeon for breeding. No, no, only for the 18 testing pairs they can have youngsters. That's uh, because you don't breed uh, 20 young birds out of a testing pair. That's crazy. Eh? Uh, I try to get more birds out of the best breeders. I think it's it's better to, to raise youngsters from your best breeders than you breed a lot of the testing breeders. So uh, that's the reason. Uh, why? What's the reason I keep my breeding team only 28? Because in my area we live with a lot of big names, uh, world famous people who fly a lot of pigeons. Uh, they have. 50, 60 pairs of breeders, they have 80, 90 pairs of uh, widowhood uh, hens or cocks. Uh, I keep my team small because I try to get the quality high enough and I try to be on, on the highest level. So it, if you want to be on the highest level you, you, you need a lot of good birds. Uh, it's not easy over here, especially this area is one of the most difficult areas in the, in the world. On the, middle distance races, even sprint races and middle distance races. Then we are talking from 100 km till 600 km. So it's a 100 to 600, it's yeah. a young bird. Young bird or old birds and yearlings. This area is very tough, it's very fast and, and, and it's not easy to fly here, believe me. Now it's uh, 2014, you used 2013 now, I flew Pigeon in the, as well, or just no, 2014? This we, breeding this year. We lived in year. Uh, another place a few years ago for almost 20 years, and it's only five minutes driving from here where we are now. Uh, this year, 2014, will be our third season in this new location. The reason why I fly only young birds in a new location, and I flew old birds in the past. When I was a loft manager at the brother-in-law of Huben, we, I flew old birds. When I was loft manager at Clairbout, I flew old birds. When I was loft manager in my own loft at the old location, I flew also old birds. And we had very good results, top 50, 10 national. We won section B nationals, we won provincials, interprovincials, everything. The reason why I fly only young birds here now at a new location 
is because the first year I only could fly young birds and I have more and more people asking me to fly their pigeons from Belgium or out of the country to fly their young birds in the national races in Belgium so and at the end of the year those people sell the birds also for me when I have like this year 2014 I weaned around 340 young birds not from myself from myself 140 and 200 young birds from three other people Belgium or not Belgian people and that's the reason why I don't fly old birds because you have that many work with the young birds I don't think you can fly on the highest level with the old birds but in the future the number of young birds will go down and we're gonna fly again with uh, old birds and what line you have pigeon? Sorry. Uh, mostly our own strain crossed with Ruben we start uh, our basic of the birds that we have now we started with Queen L. Queen L was our first national winner and the father of Queen L was an inbred to my grandfather his best birds and the mother was a hen that we bought at Thea Ascout. Thea Ascout was in the 90s, 80s, 90s one of the best in the area also on the national races four, five, six hundred kilometers. We bought a hen I think two three pigeons we bought and we bought the mother of Queen L also uh, we paired her up with the inbred cock of my grandfather and then she was born Queen L. In, the, in the, the year she was a young bird, 2004, she won first national, La Souterraine, it was uh, 590 kilometers, almost 600. Then we stopped her, we didn't sold her and we started breeding together with other fanciers in the area. Big names, they asked us to breed together and we said yes. We had a good hen, but we hadn't a good cock to pair up with this hen. So we bred the most together with Huben because we are related to the family. She was paired up with many cocks at Huben. Uh, out of ten pairings, maybe I think out of eight out of ten pairings, we had cocks or hens who gave us good pigeons. When I when I'm talking about good pigeon then I'm talking about birds who can fly in the top 150 or 10 national provincial or interprovincial top 10 50 like that then I'm talking about good pigeons and then we are talking about average uh, on the national races 10 15 20 thousand pigeons in the race stuff like that uh, so Quinelli is the basic of everything still now 2014 uh, in every racing pigeon that I breed in my own loft, she will be in a pedigree. So every racing pigeon in my loft is related to my most famous and Queen L. Like last year 2013 also, we flew seven national races with young birds. So in Belgium you had uh, seven national races in six weeks time. The average distance of each race was around 530 kilometers, so it was from 480 till 600, uh, excuse me, 595. So we had an average around 530 kilometers. In my place, the birds has to go every week, six, seven national races in six weeks. So even cocks and hens, every week we ship on Thursday, they flew on Saturday. At the end, we had a, a ranking on the PIPA website and then you can see the best birds with 7 on 7 all over Belgium. There were only 27 pigeons who, at the end of the game, so after 7 national races. We were the only guys with more than one bird in, the, in this ranking. We had 4 pigeons in the ranking. We were 1st, 3rd, 10th and 13th. The other 23 birds at the end were all of 23 other fanciers. The first, second and third bird, so three birds in the top 10, were all related to my queen. Last year I had 48 positions in the top 100, national or even section B2 on the national level. 48 positions were all related to queen L. So she's still the most important bird in the loft. The best combination 
of our Queen Elf blood strain was breeding together with the Vulcans. And this was in my loft the last years very successful, but also in the Huben loft it was very successful. So for us, I, I only choose one card and that is uh, Queen Elf with Huben. For me, it's the best. They can handle hours they can, on the wing, they can handle distance, they can handle heatness, they can handle headwind, they can handle everything. So you only have this two line for you loft? That's the most important. Now the last few years I try to buy some other bloodlines. I buy Ed Cassar, uh, Gregory and Maurice Cassar. I bought some eggs uh, to make an outcross because otherwise I have too close family all together and that's not good. Uh, to make an outcross uh, I buy at some just fanciers that I know uh, in my area who are flying good on a sprint and middle distance or like I told you before I bought some eggs at Kassar. For the moment we are successful with the few changes that I made. Uh, we will see what happens in the future. Of course, if you buy five birds, you don't expect they all gonna be good breeders. Eh? Uh, at the end, if you have one out of five, it's very good for me. So that's the basic Queen L, Huber, and now we are crossing a little bit with other bloodlines, especially from just local guys. Small prices, but good birds. And that's the most important. How many members it's for your club and provincial? In my club, where, we have, where you play? Yeah, in my club we have 80, 90 members. Provincial, I think it will be between two, three thousand in Antwerp. So, but in the club, uh, everybody is asking out of Belgium how many members you have. 80, 90. Not all 80, 90 fly the distance we fly. So we have a lot of people who stay on the 100 km and 200 km races. They can fly every week also, 1 and 200 km. Then you have people who, who stay with the birds on a 350 km, 400. And then you have the people who go with the birds to the 4, 5, 600 km. And then at the end with all birds and, and, and yearlings, you have also people who go to the 8, 900 km even to Barcelona. So. In other countries in the world, everybody fly in a club and they have to follow the system. So the one weekend they fly 100 km and it's going up and then everybody has to go to the same race, here not. Everybody can choose his thing he want to fly. So people who want to fly 1-200 km, people who want to fly 3-400 km and then you have the national races, 5-6 and up till 1100 km. So, before you say you are play in Belgium, but you play for another three fans different country, you tell something about that one. I started with the system in 2012, just with uh, my birds, the Huben birds, and from a friend of me who had a lot of pigeons of us. I flew his birds also. The year after, 2013, I had my birds, Huben birds, and some uh, other people in Belgium, uh, another guy sent also, uh, the guy from Matador, Eddie Noel, he sent birds to my place and uh, some people from Italy. Now 2014 I will fly my birds, Ruben birds, the Willy Daniels, it's a local guy flying very good with a small team, he sent his second round to my loft and we, had, we have also birds from Premier Stud England. Now for 2015 there will be no Hoobens anymore because the people sold everything and uh, they finished Pigeon Sport. Uh, I will fly my birds, I f will fly Premier Stud England and I will fly some birds from uh, Pipa. Maybe somebody else, I have to figure out first, I have to see the numbers. And for those people it's also good, they put the birds in a, in a loft uh, where somebody and a team is working very hard on the pigeons so and at the end they try to sell the birds and that's the reason why I only fly young birds like I told you before of course when I have birds from other people all together if you know you have a big team but over here the birds that they 
they will select every week. They have to fly, they have to train, they, some people cannot survive the system. Uh, like I told you, they have to go every national race. Between those races, before those races, we go every day almost on the road with the birds training. Or the weather has to be very bad, and, and the weather is that bad you cannot release the pigeons. We don't go, then they have to do uh, loft training with a flag. But here the birds, they go a lot. We start a few weeks before the national program, the birds have to go every day in the morning 100 km and in the evening 30 km and then they have to go in a weekend to the races also. Are your beards successful at other fanciers? Every year we get more and more good information from other people who are flying good with our pigeons. We started in 2007 in combination me and my father. From 2007 we were working together with PIPA also, we saw pigeons every year, more and more, to more and more places all over the world. And we get every year more and more good results all over the world. I get good results from Taiwan, China, and then we are talking about first prize winners against thousands of birds, uh, ace pigeons in one loft races, stuff like that. Uh, I get good results from Poland, Germany, Holland, Spain, United States. The last two years we are we sold birds three years ago in the United States, and the last two years good results. And then we are talking, like I told you, races or one loft races even. I don't ship that many birds to one loft races, but when I ship, ship Birds to one loft races, 60 70 percent. We have a good race in the one loft race, not always a first prize winner or a second. But I see always my group performance or team performance as to is, is important for me. And then I'm talking about if you send six, six birds and you have four in the final race, and you can put three, four, or two birds in on the sheet or in the top, then you're doing good. Like you know, a lot of big names and fanships they they send sometimes 40, 50, 60, 70 birds do one loft races and at the, at the end of one loft race is, is uh, one of the most uh, honest because everybody is the same when I'm flying against some other people maybe I'm training them harder, I'm feeding them better or I'm smarter sometimes in the medication and all the stuff and then you can make better results but at the end of one loft race is uh, for everybody the, the same Either in a work condition, worse condition or in a good condition, it's all the same. So now the last year, the last year, this year, now 2014, we, we ship more and more pigeons to one loft races also. I work together in Poland uh, with Marek Traska, he's sending to two one loft races, I have five birds in another one loft race. I'm working together with somebody in Los Angeles, United States. He's sending over North America and Mexico to one loft races. Uh, Mexico, we were successful the first year already, 2013. Uh, we won the first final place in the Global International. We, uh, the father was an inbred to Quinell and uh, the, we won the 560 km. That was the final race and a week before the same pigeon won the 480 km. Two first prizes in one week. 480 and the final 560 kilometers and the circumstances in Mexico it is hot I know uh, the weather is hot and everything over there uh, so then we decided to send also more birds over North America to more loft races I had good results of people who flew good with our birds in Canada also so more and more people are making good results with our pigeons in my area, I didn't sold a lot of birds. I don't know why. Who cares? I don't care. Maybe the people have better birds than me. Who knows? Uh, but if people have birds from us in the area, 80% are good, successful with the birds. At the end, when I have birds at other people, some birds are also crap.
that you have to kill, not good enough. <laughs> so I cannot sell all, all the time good birds. I have also bad birds, of course. <laughs> because when I do a system, and I have a good system, I think, because the results are good. But at the end, in the good system, and good results, you still have bad birds. We were training very hard, a good way of feeding, and the right way of medication. And then when you select on this, you, you just make the, the, the bird better and better. Just, the, you, you create a stronger family. And that's the reason why I think we are doing better and better in the one loft races also. They can handle distance, they can handle hours, and they can handle a lot of shit they can handle. Of course, they have to go every week. They arrive on Saturday, maybe they flew eight hours on a wing, some birds nine hours. On Monday they have to train again 100 km, 20, uh, 30 km in the evening and on Thursday we, we train again 100 km and they have to go again in the basket for another 500-600 km. So your system is when pigeon have race for Saturday, Sunday you still have 100 km no, train? No, Monday. Monday. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday they have to train, Thursday they go in the basket again to the club. Saturday they fly again, and I do it every week on the national races. Eh? They have to fly all the time. Like this year now, this weekend we go to the 360 km. The weekend uh, later we go to the 410 km. It will be a provincial. Then the week later uh, they will fly 450 km provincial, and then we start our six national races. Last year we had seven national races in 2013. 2014 we will have six national races but then they go Saturday 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 every week it's a national race so we do six national races in five weeks how many kilometers it's a national national race between 480 and 595 so, so an average of 530 so you have six national races for five weeks between 480 to 595 kilometers and that one is all for young birds, pigeons. Yeah, so the pigeons have to go every week on the national races like we told, so six national races in five weeks. They will fly a total 3260 kilometers on national races only. That will be an average of 540 kilometers around 540 km per national race. Except those national races, the birds has to be, uh, I think they fly two, three middle distance races and two sprint races and two very, uh, four very short races. So only racing distance, my birds fly over 5,000 kilometers just racing. So what system and what of food you give your beards and what products you use? I work together with uh, Matador, that's a company from Germany. Uh, they make natural products and pigeon feed. I work a lot with the pigeon feed of Matador uh, for uh, almost eight years I think. And I'm satisfied about the, the mixtures that they make, the birds they stay very healthy. Uh, I select also on the health of the birds, so I'm, I think it makes a big difference in pigeon sport if you have a, a good way of feeding of your birds. Uh, Matador is for me one of the best in the world. I saw a lot, they have a very good schedule, they have a team behind the system who try to make it better and better every year even. They started as a small company, they, we were one of the first in, in, in my province and one of the first even in Belgium who worked together with Matador. They are so good that at the end the big companies try to copy them. So if somebody tries to copy you, you're better than the other guy. And a lot of f uh, famous fanciers start using also the Matador food. And for me, it's one of the best in the world. About natural products, 
I don't use that many. I use uh, mainly I use a probiotic TS6 plus. When the birds come home, I use protein uh, from bugs. Uh, I think it's called Protein Plus. It's from the bugs company. They work together with uh, Matador. It's one big company. Uh, electrolytes I use from them. But at the end, every year I am using less products. I'm training harder my pigeons. I give them very good food. I select harder and my results are better. So I tested everything in the past. From vitamins to medication, everything I tried. But at the end I see my, my best years is when I use less stuff, even natural products and medication, my results are better. But you have to select very hard. Because why we give a bird protein to recuperate faster. But some birds need faster protein than other birds. So, because some birds has to recuperate very so, uh, they, 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 they recuperate very slower, much slower than, than other pigeons. We always use products to make our weak birds better. So I think when you use less products, you select harder, you get a better strain of pigeons. With medication just the same. At the end, my best pigeons, I never see they are ill. They never had the young bird sickness. When I'm talking about best birds on my distance, I never saw my best birds getting sick. Never. We always treated for the weakness. And then, like medication, I went to a lot of vets. I'm still going a lot to the vet just for a checkup. And 8 out of 10 times I'm coming home without some products. Just check up for canker, trico, like we say, uh, for coccidios for worms, stuff like that, for uh, chlamydia and all the things. I, I sent some uh, droppings to the labs and everything to check all the time. In the, during the racing season I go every week to the vet because they follow everything and I only using uh, some medicines when it's necessary. If it's not necessary I leave my birds without the medicine. And that's I think like I told you, I tried everything in the past, and you're just going down. If that one is no secret, can you show uh, Polish fanciers products now? Yeah. This is the probiotic that I use. It's from Bax. Uh, TS6 Plus is the name. Uh, you have to make the water the, the evening before. So you put the dosage of powder in the water the evening before the day you're gonna use it. Then the powder are the, the good bacterials, they're making themselves more of more of them themselves in the water during the night and then you give it to the pigeons. This is the electrolytes from uh, the same company, Bax, they're working together with uh, Matador and this I use uh, the day of arrival. When the birds come home, they can drink right away from the electrolytes to reload again to, for the week after. The evening when they arrive, they get some food with oil, the Omega Plus oil, and then I put the protein from Bax on the food. So they recuperate faster, they can, so they can go again on Monday for training, and we can ship them again on Thursday for racing. This is something I bought in a local store, it's uh, just uh, a herb mix with a lot of herbs and uh, some good uh, bacterials also in it. It's with a lot of, uh, uh, like you see, a lot of herbs, maybe more than 25. There's also uh, apple cider vinegar in it, uh, we have also iodine in it, it's just all natural. When the birds are sick. I use stuff from the vet, uh, Schroeder or Anha vet. 
Uh, she's a woman uh, in Blondon near Leuven. Uh, those are my two most important vets. Uh, when the birds need something for canker, I use mostly the flagil, like we say in Belgium. It's a one tablet, you put it in, you cut it in four pieces and then one quarter per pigeon you give for canker. The day after nothing, one day later again one fourth. What company make this product? Uh, this is not a, this is a company you can only buy at the vet or uh, at the pharmacist. So it's not uh, a pigeon stuff, you understand? Yeah. yeah. For head sickness I use doxycycline mostly. When they are sick, I use it mostly two weeks and then I, I stop. That's, and for uh, coccidios, and it's many years ago we had to treat the same for worms. If they have some trouble with the eyes like the one I call, I put some eye cream in uh, the eye. Two times a day, maybe also 14 days to clean up everything and then I quit. If it's finished, I quit all the time. But I do a treatment like it has to be done. Not two or three days, two weeks if necessary, even three weeks if necessary. After a season, all my birds, breeders, racers, they get the product Seracol. You know Seracol? It's to clean the liver. You can buy at many different places. The, the company Herbots, they have Seracol. Uh, or some people, they, they, they have different names, Meteohol, Cetohol, they're all different, but it's the same stuff. And it's to clean the liver. And that this, this stuff I give for two months every day, after a season. Breeders, they finish at the end of August with breeding. Racers, they finish the beginning of September with racing. And then I start, after the, first, the last race, I start for two months. They can start molding, clean up the body and everything. This is the Turbo Energy from uh, Matador. This mixture I use the last two days before I ship my birds for uh, the 4, 500, 600 kilometers. This is a high fat mixture. So at the end, before they go, they get the high fat mixture to load up everything so they are ready to race in the weekend. This is the super racing mixture from Matador. This is some, uh, high protein. This mixture I use one or two days uh, in the week. And especially when we ship on Thursday, I use this on Tuesday and uh, Tuesday all day and Wednesday morning. And after this mixture, I start using the Turbo Energy. Uh, when the birds arrive from the race, they get this mixture 50% and 50% of the turbo energy. This is the breakdown mixture. These I use when they arrive on Saturday. I start using this product on uh, Sunday and Monday. This is the breakdown mixture from Matador with a little bit fat in it but also enough uh, fibers to clean up the body because we use this is a premium superstar uh, named uh, we use this because we train a lot and that's the reason why we need a little bit fat in it also but enough fibers to clean up the body. And this I use uh, Sunday Monday and then on Tuesday I start using the premium racing mixture. When I really want to clean up the pigeons to get them light and all the fat out of the body I use this mixture. This is a premium winter mixture they called at Matador this mixture premium winter because you see a lot of barley to clean up the body really. So it's a, a real breakdown mixture and I use this also during the winter for my birds. After the season they get a lot of this food during the winter to clean up totally the body.
to get ready the year the, the year after. When we before you loved, we heard music and we see Birmingham rollers. Uh, for what you put music for loved and for what you keep rollers? The music is for myself because I like to hear music. Even when I go to bed, the radio is on. But All you know, think for daytime it's a pigeon scary because it's actually loud yeah. and they get used of everything. In the neighbor, uh, the neighbors has also children when they make noise outside. They, they, the birds also can be afraid. But now with the music and everything, they don't move anymore. They just sleep and they do. The children can make noise. They, they are used of it. The music is on during the day. From the, the day I wean the young birds, the music is on, but only from morning till evening and during the night it's uh, quiet. The Birmingham rollers, the white pigeons you saw, I use them as droppers, so when a bird arrives from the race, we throw a dropper, a Birmingham roller, to the landing board and then the other bird in the air is coming faster down. And we just use them to win some seconds, some time. So that's the reason why I use those pigeons. I saw it in the United States. They use a lot of those kind of birds uh, because they fly in, in uh, races where you can lose a race with one second and you will be, the, will be in, at the fifth or sixth place, stuff like that, because they're all coming to the same area and it's going that fast. And that's the reason why I start using them, using them here also. And really, really, when you see the birds coming home from a race and they see the dropper, bam, they are right away on the landing board. That's the reason why I use them. Uh, can you tell us some of your most important results for you? For me, the most important result is not to win a national, but is being the best racer on all the nationals, like I did in the past. In the past we flew only four nationals with young birds, and three out of four races I started in the top ten national. Even last year we had seven national races. Four out of seven races I started in the top ten national, and that's for me very important, a good team performance. Of course if you win a national it's also beautiful, but I like to be every week good, and not only one week. I, I even to be in the, in the top ten national, I did in the past also in the top ten national when every, everything was against me, the wind, the weather, we were not in an avengers and, and, and I was still in the top 10 and that's giving me a boost, things like that. Doing something else that other people only can dream of. Can you show some uh, trophies, yeah? I don't have a lot of trophies, just a few and they are all, all over the place in uh, the house. Why I don't have a lot of trophies? I don't like trophies. I don't fly for championships, I just fly to be the best in a race. And for being the best in a race you don't have a trophy in Belgium. Uh, being the best in a race I mean to put a lot of birds on the sheet, put a lot of birds in the first 10% and try to win or to be in the top 10. Then in Belgium you have championships and, and, and all those kind of things. Uh, it's with first and second nominated bird and, and I don't like those things. Uh, you can win those trophies with some just with some prizes uh, you win and not with, with top birds. Uh, the national ace pigeons in Belgium for me there is no national ace pigeon if you don't fly a national race so a lot of people can show you trophies about sprint races and middle distance races and they don't even fly against their own province so they win a national ace bird or a national championship in a category 
where they can kick out people in their own area. You understand what I try to say? If you're better than them, they kick you out. And I don't like that kind of champions. Uh, for me, there are no national champions except on the national races. Uh, I think the reason why uh, we don't have a lot of trophies because I don't like to go to all the parties to, to get the trophies. I don't uh, send a lot uh, paperwork to win some trophies. Uh, and I don't fly for championships. I just fly for the good races. Uh, second thing is the wife don't like all the things in the house, so I don't like it, she don't like it, I just want to be the best on the sheet, that's all counts for me, and all the rest is bullshit I say. Can you show some Polish fans here some of your best breeders and best race pigeons? I can show you some children of Quinell and uh, some descendants of Quinell who bred good for me or who raised good for me. And then we have to go inside to the breeding boxes. This is Seven. He was the best young bird of Belgium in 2013 on seven national races. The father is uh, Gerings, part from Wommelgem, and the mother is a daughter of my own Quinell. Like you see the white color, I don't have a lot of this color, uh, but it's from the Gehrings bloodline. Uh, it's okay, when he arrives you see it's him. It's easy. This is Oklahoma, also a very good racer for me in 2013. He won two times top 100 national. He was in the PIPA ranking the third best young bird on seven national races. The same ranking we were first, third with Oklahoma, 10th and 13th. He was also first Ace Pigeon Union Antwerp Young Birds Long Distance, first Ace Pigeon Flying Club Antwerp Long Distance and first Ace Pigeon Van Robbys Championship. Five of seven national races were necessary in this championship of Van Robbys. The father is a Huben and the mother is a granddaughter of Queen L. This is Fifth Avenue, he is the son of Queen L and Pinocchio Huben. He gave me birds in the top 10, top 50 and top 100 national. Descendants of him are successful in the United Kingdom and in the United States. He is a dark shagger, he is from 2005 and is the direct son of Queen Al. This is Wall Street, he is the brother of Fifth Avenue, also a son of Pinocchio with Queen Al. He gave me also birds in the top 10, 50 and top 100 national. In 2013, a grandchild won the final race in a Global International in Mexico. Another grandchild was six national ace pigeon in the United States. In my own loft, the fourth provincial against 4,000 pigeons of Orleans, a very tough race with a headwind and hot weather, was also a child of him. So he's also one of my best breeders and uh, a direct son of Queen Al. This is Sunny Queen. She's a daughter of my son of the light and Queen Al. She's mother to seven the best young bird of seven national races in 2013 as young bird. She is also grandmother of the final winner in the Global International Mexico. Other children of her flew also in a top 100 national. She's from 2010, so still a young bird and she gave me already good pigeons. Also direct daughter of Queen L. This is Queen L. She's 10 years old, she's not laying eggs anymore, she's the basic to everything. She won herself first national, La Ram, 2004, young birds, 16,000 birds in the race. And she was fastest of almost 20,000 birds. The distance was 590 kilometers. And she gave a lot of good children or grandchildren 
who produced good races for us. So thank you very much for your time, for your show some beards, and we wish you a lot of success in the future racing and breeding. Thank you very much. So people, now you saw my loft and all my birds, and my, you know some secrets about me. Just keep it easy, train the birds, and try to select them very hard. Thank you very much.